Hello, my name is Dean Viverka. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Southern Cross Cables. Um, we're here at this time in, uh, in Hawaii, and uh, it reminds me of when I was here exactly a year ago. Um, I've been in this industry for over 40 years, and I woke to the news, as the world did, of the terrible devastation of a uh, volcano that erupted in Tonga. Um, what this brought to the world, I guess, was dramatic photos of the largest volcano to up, erupt in over 30 years. Um, but the devastation that it caused in wiping out villages and towns was, was horrible. But it also cut that country off from the rest of the world because they have two submarine fibre optic cables, one domestically that connected all the islands and another international that connected Tonga directly to Fiji. From Fiji, they then connect onto our cable at Southern Cross uh, for connection to the rest of the world. Once this cable broke, their only other communications link, the satellite links, also failed because of the huge ash cloud that covered the country. So I ended up being the, the focal point or the uh, point of contact to the rest of the world uh, because they're our customer in getting the story out about how Tonga uh, was completely cut off from the world. It took over a, a week to sort of establish regular communications and in the meantime um, it reminded me as I was being interviewed by lots of uh, news agencies, BBC, CNN, uh, etc., the importance of submarine cables and how they provide the only lifeline and communication links for many of these small Pacific islands and indeed other countries. And all the commentators that I spoke to were fascinated by the fact that 98% um, of our world's communications between countries goes on submarine fiber optic cable and they're surprised it didn't go on satellite. So in one sense, while there was a devastation to that country, the good news that came out of it was the, um, the ability to highlight the importance of submarine cables in our industry. And it's probably one of the only industries that actually provides a lifeline uh, to the rest of the world uh, and through these countries. So being able to communicate the story of submarine cables, the history of it, um, the fact that there's over a million and a half kilometres of cable connecting uh, around the world, the fact that we have about 200 of these faults a year, the fact that this industry builds, operates and maintains these systems and have them for hundreds of years uh, was fascinating to the world and to the social commentators and, and media that I spoke to. So uh, it was good news from, from that point of view and we continue to work with Tonga. Um, they had over 200 kilometres of uh, cable destroyed and uh, we're only now just still trying to repair some of that cable almost a year later. Thank you.